U.S.-Korean trade delegation has expressed notable interest in Guyana's economy. DPI spoke with a few of these potential investors, who expressed that Guyana is seeping with investment opportunities. Lawrence Schaefer, CEO of Schaefer Global Management, disclosed that investment in Guyana is made more attractive by the various changes made in recent years. There's more security here. The investment environment is perfect down here. The level of corruption that you have to deal with in a lot of developing countries, you don't experience down here. The banking system is stable down here. The access to shipping is easy down here. It just all makes sense. He also noted that his company is interested in investing in Guyana's agriculture sector and in the local workforce. Philip Chern, CEO of Syzygy International, divulged that a partnership with his company would increase national and economic security. For my company, we can offer maritime security, port security, law enforcement security, and military. We can also do the fusion centers, which we bring together the operations and the intelligence sides to help be more predictive and anticipate things happening in the country and in, in the coastal areas as well. Meanwhile, Yong Jun Yi, CEO of Ye Chen Architects and Urban Planners, conveyed that Guyana is full of potential. What is left in Guyana is, is just growth. There is no, you know, setback. There is no, um, you know, thing hanging back Guyana. I think it's got uh, a lot of uh, power to growth and energy. Moreover, he expressed that he intends to participate in the project of developing the new Silica City in Guyana. The delegation of U.S. and Korean officials also met with government and private sector representatives on Wednesday where they expressed this interest.